is why only fools are heroes. Because you never know when some lunatic will come along with a sadistic choice. In honor of the release of Spider-Man No Way Home, I wanted to discuss one of my favorite Spider-Man moments ever written. The 2018 PlayStation video game is one of the best Spider-Man adaptations ever made, and its tragic ending serves as one of the reasons why, as it encapsulates everything that makes Peter Parker who he is. For context, the game depicts a Peter who has been Spider-Man for 8 years and is currently working a lab job helping his mentor Otto Octavius revolutionize the field of prosthetic limbs. After finally putting away his oldest and biggest enemy, Wilson Fisk, a new villain called Mr. Negative emerges to fill the power vacuum and get his hands on a deadly bioweapon called Devil's Breath. Spidey defeats Negative at the end of the second act, only for a desperate and degrading Octavius, who is suffering from a degenerative disease, to steal the Devil's Breath and unleash it on the city. As more people become infected and die, Aunt May uses her position as a shelter volunteer to help out, which leads to her contracting the infection. With time running out and a loved one now on the line, Peter confronts Doc Ock, who reveals that he knows his identity, and eventually manages to defeat him and retrieve the anti-serum. The fight against Doc Ock is already sad enough, but it's what happens afterwards that truly makes this ending special. It's still viable. We'll need the entire sample as a base to produce more doses. How long will that take? A few hours. Maybe a day. What if we use it to cure someone right now? Then there won't be enough to cure the others. Peter is now faced with a sadistic choice. Save Aunt May and let thousands of people die, or make the cure and lose his only remaining family. This is a choice that cuts to the core of everything Spider-Man represents. Spider-Man was born out of negligence and guilt over failing to save her loved one. Peter never used his powers responsibly and lost Uncle Ben for it. Now, the responsible thing to do is to let Aunt May die in order to save everyone else. Selfishness originally cost him his family, and the guilt drove him to become a hero and strive to keep May safe. His entire motivation for being Spider-Man is standing in opposition with his heroic goals in this moment. What is Peter Parker to do? There is only one thing a hero would do. Peter knows it. Aunt May knows it. The audience knows it, and so does Insomniac. This whole scene is presented entirely through one cutscene. There is no opportunity for gamer interaction. There is no decision to make here, because there is only one outcome. With great power comes great responsibility. Even if it's painful to him personally, Peter Parker will always do the right thing to make up for that one time he didn't. This beautifully tragic, gut-wrenching ending is why the 2018 video game is one of the best Spider-Man adaptations out there and showcases everything that makes Spider-Man a hero.